That was. Are we feeling it? That was a great game, right? That was an exciting game. And, uh, you know, that's a tough one to get on the road like that. That's definitely a tough one to get on the road. I'm thrilled about it. I hope you guys are too. It was still a fun game to watch. Now, I gotta be honest, man. I, look, no, nobody saw that turnaround coming the way it did, right? With that Spezza goal off the head like that. But, you know what I mean? I see something like that. I see something like that, right? <laughs> there we go, Leslie. I see something like that and I say, that's a weird fluke bounce for us. Ooh, I wonder if that's got that spark to get you back into it, you know? Because they had a rough start, of course. Down 3 nothing. But you get a goal like that on the road, you know, after a long stretch of games here, you know, and you're like, ooh, maybe that's the spark. Maybe that's the thing. <laughs> there we go, right? Maybe that's the thing that's going to get them back into it. Now, you know, if you're out there thinking it's over, it's over, you know? Look, if you're a little kid, right? I've been a little kid saying the same kind of thing. You don't know what's possible when you're a kid. So if you're a kid out there and you thought if you thought that like, oh, three nothing, like, geez, the Leafs are done for. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit, right? Kids don't know what's possible. They've got imaginations, though, so they'll believe anything as long as you believe in it, too. Right? They're down for whimsy. They're down for magic, right? You just got to remind them that it's possible. That's all. And tonight it was possible, right? That bounce goes in off the head and you're like, oh, geez. Oh, geez. That could be the thing. That could be the thing right there. So I was super excited for it. Uh, um, it turned the game around quick. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Miller G. Uh, yeah. You know, and hats off to Minnesota, too. Can we not... You know what I mean? Can we not? We got to give them some credit here, right? This wasn't at all a Toronto loss. This was very much a Minnesota win. And I gotta say quickly, I don't know if I don't know if there's a uh, uh, a bigger. Oh, sorry, that was a sub by the way. Sub for Miller G coming uh, into the chat here. Lovely, lovely gifted sub to uh, to GGNPTV. Whoa! Right? Throwing out those gifted subs. Love it. <laughs> but we got to give some credit to Minnesota here, man. I mean, come on, right? They played a solid game. I think the biggest, I think might be the biggest uh, underappreciated, the most underappreciated team in the NHL. For years now, too, I think. For years, I think Minnesota might be the most underappreciated team in the entire league, right? Because we don't hear about them. And I know for you non-Toronto fans out there, you're going to be like, duh, you're a Toronto fan. That's all you ever hear about. No, 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 no. There is so much Leafs coverage in this city, right? And around the city and around this part of Ontario, right? There's so much Leafs coverage that we hear about all their opponents all the time because they run out of stuff to talk about with Toronto. So you always got to find out that what's going on with the other team. Game day, tune into radio, watch TV. You learn all about the opposing team because the city can't stop talking about it, right? And I never hear stories from Minnesota, ever, right? They go unnoticed. They go unrecognized. That's why my jokes on the Instagram stuff were constantly, right? <laughs> Speculation size, that's right, you know? Uh, that's why they constantly, my jokes to them on Instagram is just about how we don't know anything about Minnesota. We never do. And we know more about Arizona than we do about Minnesota, right? Like, what's that? We probably know more about Nashville than we do about Minnesota right now. What? <laughs> they got a great fan base. Minnesota, you know, is like one of the, it's like the hockey cap, uh, hockey capital of the United States. There's so many uh, youth players there. I mean, that one's got to be to Minnesota, right? What a great, what a great hockey city. What a great hockey town. I'm sure they had some dark times with their team so far, you know, but it was since, since the wild came into the league, you know, the stars were long gone, but since the wild came into the league, like I just maybe two years out of that whole career, I've heard like a, a dramatic story going on with the, with the wild. There's never any drama, no player drama, no coach drama. At least we don't hear about it. So let us please hear more about Minnesota. I want to know about what's going on in Minnesota. If you're a Minnesota fan watching this or whatever, or you see the clips later on, please comment, chat, whatever else. Let me know about Minnesota because I'm not getting that feed here, man. I'm not getting that feed, and I want to know what's going on because they look good tonight. So a lot, a lot, a lot of respect to uh, Minnesota and its fans and everything like that. Uh, the Leafs obviously got off to a bad start, right? We were talking about that. Look, it's penalty trouble, right? They got to stay out of the box. They got to stay out of the box. The Leafs had way too many dumb calls early on, and it happens. Like, I'm not criticizing them in the sense that, like, what, I, you know, I wouldn't do the same thing. It happens sometimes, right? Sometimes you get off to a bad start. Bad penalties. I'm sure they recognize it. They might have been a little slow, right? 
I know they came from a home game, so it's like they just, you know, this is their first game on the road for this new trip. But they just went through California, man. They came back for one game, one game against Colorado, and then back on the road again, right? Back to back games now, too. So, like, because they're, they're playing again tomorrow, right? So, it's, it's kind of a rough schedule. So you're gonna have some times where you just make some dumb penalties, you know. So you take some 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 uh, um, some bad calls, you know, perhaps your way. But for the most part, it's your own fault. You're behind the play. You're getting lazy. You're tired. You cheat a little, and you catch a dumb call, man. I've been there. I've been there. All right. But that's what happened, and that's why they got off to that rough start. And then you know that that uh, that lovely bounce from a spets a goal, and all of a sudden, you know, you're right back in at three to one. Now it's looking good, you know. Ooh, I mean, that's what shows you what's possible in hockey, right? Never give up. Never give up. And instead of coming out of there with like a 4 nothing, 5 nothing stinker of a road game, they're coming out of there with an extra point, right? If you're going to have a loss on the road, wouldn't you rather have this kind of loss than a 5 nothing stinker or like an 8-3 to three stinker? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get that Colorado joke in there for my buds. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, my friend's a huge Colorado fan. He's the one that brought me to the game uh, on Wednesday. We go every year for Colorado, and I'm so thankful to have him in my life. He's such a good friend and brings me out to these games. And uh, after we saw like four in a row four in the past four years where Colorado just owned us. So it was nice to get one back. But I digress. We can get into that after the fact, okay? As far as the penalties, though, there was the one against, um, there was the one against uh, Campbell, or the, the non-penalty against Campbell, really, right? That like, you know, I... I'm going to sit here and say that that wasn't a call, right? In my heart of hearts, I really believe that's two minutes. It's got to be. But they made a mistake, okay? And I want you to remember that mistake the next time that one goes our way, okay? Remember that one went our way just in life. New set of refs, new game. There's going to be a call that goes our way. And I want you to remember that that's because we had one like now, right? It's never one-sided, right? Everybody always remembers the bad calls. But there's good calls that go for you, too. Some might argue that Spezza call later on, right? The penalty on Spezza. Somebody, somebody might argue that that was kind of a soft call. It looked kind of soft. Now, here's the thing. I believe Spezza's hurt there. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the guy intentionally did anything. Probably not. You know, I'm not even sure you could call it a penalty. I'm biased as a Leafs fan. I call that a penalty all day. But I would want to see that called if we did that to Minnesota, too. You know what I mean? That's just in, in an overtime situation that seemed like a little bit too much. I would probably call it. But if they didn't, I understand. Right. But they did. They did call it. So it went our favor there. You know, that can happen sometimes. So I'm glad I'm glad everything uh, 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 worked out kind of just for getting an extra point on the road. You know, that was a nice turnaround. It could have gotten out of hand in a hurry. Campbell's a trooper. Spets is a trooper. Getting two of them before Matthews steps in is like, yo, now the star's here. Let's get this game tied up. You know what I mean? So what a great game. All around again, hats off to Minnesota. Metaphorically, of course, we're not going to remove the headphones. I'll bump something. I'll knock something. The whole sh the whole show will shut down. Right? <laughs> that's that's. Oh, we got the game against uh, t t uh, the Winnipeg Jets tomorrow. That's, so that's going to be awesome too, right? Checking that out. Uh, we got some Winnipeg friends around here sometimes, so maybe we'll speak to some of them in the Discord or something like that after the game. Get one of them on the line, let them, let, you know, just check in with them, see how their season's going. I don't know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. It depends. Uh, but yeah, that Winnipeg game. We'll find out another Canadian team. You've been talking that trash all season. Let's do it. Let's do it, Winnipeg. Let's do it, Winnipeg versus Toronto tomorrow, 8 p.m. Boom, just do it. Right now, I want to get into what you guys are saying in the chat. I got a nice big screen going here. I can read it all better. With my old eyes. So let's hopefully make things a little bit more interactive for the next little bit. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Now, thanks for saying. Uh, let me say my piece here.